Welcome to a new chapter. We're on chapter 7, section 1, 0, and negative exponents. Our goal is that we can simplify expressions involving 0 and negative exponents. So first, let's talk about the different properties that we will learn. The first one is when 0 is an exponent. So remember, exponent is a little number in the corner. So any number raised to the 0 power is going to equal 1. This is a really easy simple fact that you can remember anything to the zero power equals one even if it's a negative in the base you raise it to the zero power and it equals one even if it's a de decimal raised to the zero it equals one as well now another property that we're going to be using is about negative exponents so basically having a negative in the the exponent spot up there and the way that you're going to fix that um, remember you don't want to have a negative in the exponent for your final answer what you're going to do is take 1 and then put in the bottom whatever was in the original. So like 7 to the negative third is reduced as 1 over 7 to the third. And as you can see, the negative 3 becomes a positive 3. Similarly, for this other example, we have negative 5 raised to the negative second. Um, you can see that the negative 5 goes to the denominator and now it's raised to the positive second. In our first example, part A, we have 9 to the negative second power. The way that we're going to fix that is put 1 over it. So 1 over 9 to the positive second, and we know that 9 squared is 81. So that, in simplified form, is 1 over 81. And remember, we're using the definition of a negative exponent, which we just talked about. A similar example to this would be 4 to the negative third. First thing is you take the 4 to the 3rd and put it in the denominator. Kind of think of it like the number is getting a demotion, it's going down. And then 1 over 4 to the 3rd is reduced as 1 over 64. So there's another example. On the right side, part B, we have negative 3.6 raised to the 0 power. Remember, no matter what number is inside um, the parentheses raised to the zero power you're going to equal one and that's by definition of a zero being an exponent. Here's one other example negative five to the zero that's also going to be one. So I'm sure you've heard simplify before. You may be wondering what does it mean? Um, basically it means getting it in lowest terms. Here's a couple blanks for you. An algebraic expression in, is in simplest form when powers with a variable base are written with only positive exponents. So I kind of just referred to this a couple slides ago, saying that you can't have a negative in the exponent, um, so it must have a positive exponent. So let's take a look at pos or, sorry, part A, not positive A, part A. Um, you can see that most of it is good. The 5a to the third is totally fine. It's the b to the negative second that we have to fix. So this part right here we need to fix. Everything else is fine. So let's rewrite the 5a to the third. And now we're going to fix that negative 2 up there by doing 1 over b to the second. Now remember there's still a 1 underneath that, so if that helps you, you can write it down. And basically we're going to cross, we're just going to multiply across and we'll be good. 5a to the third over b squared. There's nothing else that we can do because the bases are different variables. If they were the same variable, we could combine them, but you'll see eventually how we do that. Now let's look at part b. We have 1 over x to the negative fifth. This time the negative exponent is in the denominator. So let's take the original and you know that that fraction bar just means we're dividing, so I'm going to write it in a different form. It means the exact same thing. Now, when we are writing this in this form, we're going to bring down the 1, bring down the divisions bar, and then now we can fix the x to the negative fifth using our skills we just acquired. So now we have 1 divided by 1 over x to the fifth. Now remember, when we're dividing by a fraction, in order to fix that, we're going to multiply by the reciprocal. So multiply by the reciprocal of this fraction, and that means we have x to the fifth. And lastly, 1 times x to the fifth is just x to the fifth. 
So I wanted to show you this longer approach um, just to show you like exactly what's happening. But in the future, I would totally be fine if you were able to look at this and then realize that it's just going to the top. So it's x to the fifth. When you evaluate an exponential expression, you can simplify the expression before substituting values for the variables. So basically that means before we substitute numbers in, we can simplify. It's really up to you. I'm going to show you two approaches for the same problem and then you basically can choose which one you like better. Method one requires us to simplify first. So as you can see, the three s to the third is totally fine. Everything's positive. Um, but look here, the negative two up in the exponent we have to fix using the same properties we just talked about. We're going to fix that by taking the reciprocal, putting in the denominator. So that means we're going to have t to the positive second in the denominator. And you can notice that three s to the third is still in the numerator. Now that we have Simplified as much as possible, we can substitute in our values. So 2 is going to the, go in the spot of the s, and negative 3 is going to go in the spot of the t. So let's plug in those values now. Okay, just as I said, the 2 is in the spot of the s, and the negative 3 is in the spot of the t. I know you are comfortable with plugging in numbers for variables. So now, basically, we just need to simplify what that is actually equaling. Let's see, we still have a 3 in the front. 2 to the third is not 6. Don't fall into that trap of multiplying the base and the exponent. It's actually 8 because 2 times 2 times 2 is 8. And on the bottom, we have negative 3 times itself. That's a positive 9. And then 24 over 9, and that reduces to 2 and 2 thirds. So there's the answer using method one. Now method two is going to have us substitute the numbers in first and then simplify. The two goes in for the s and the negative three goes in for the t. So we can now keep the three and the two to the third up in the numerator. But remember when we have a negative exponent we need to bring that value into the denominator. And now we're basically at the same point as in method one. You can see over to the left, or the same st uh, starting point or ending point. So now we have 3 times 8 over 9, and then that means we have 24 over 9, which equals 2 and 2 thirds. So they're slightly different processes, but um, you can choose which one you like best. Okay, the moment you've been waiting for, I know you're wondering how does this apply to life, and I'll let you know. Let's go through this problem together. A population of marine bacteria doubles every hour under controlled laboratory conditions. The number of bacteria is modeled by the expression 1000 times 2 to the h, where h is the number of hours after a scientist measures the population size. Evaluate the expression for h equals 0 and h equals negative 3. What does each value of the expression represent in the situation? We have used the word evaluate in the past. Remember, that just means plug in that number. So first, let's substitute 0 for h. So now we have 1,000 times 2 to the h. The h is going to become a 0. 1,000 times 2 to the 0. And hopefully by now you understand that anything to the 0 power equals 1. So that means we have 1,000 times 1, which obviously equals 1,000. So there were a thousand bacteria at the time that the scientists measured the population. So at zero hours, there were 1,000 bacteria. Now we're going to substitute in negative 3 for H. And as we talked about earlier in this lesson, when we have a negative exponent, we're going to have to fix it by taking the reciprocal. So that means we have 1,000 times 1 over 2 to the third. And 2 to the third is 8, so 1,000 over 8. And that equals 125. So in application and expression of the situation, there were 125 bacteria three hours before the scientists measured the population. 
That completes section 7.1. We learned about zero exponents and negative exponents. Feel free to go back to the lesson and pause wherever necessary. And also feel free to try the lesson check for this section. Or if you don't feel comfortable yet, wait until we do the practice problems together during class and then try after that.